Hey guys, this is part 17 of my LEGO Star Wars 3 Mini Kit Guide. This is Storm over Ryloth. Uh, this one you can get right off the start. You just uh, come over here and there's 10 of these golden things. And you're just going to use any rapid fire ship and you can blow them up. And this one here is on the upper level. Uh, you just want to use a, any uh, separatist ship and you can blow it up. It doesn't have to be rapid fire or anything like that. And that's 2 out of 10. And then there's going to be uh, five of these sh uh, green marked ships, and there's three on the upper level and two down on the lower level. And those are pretty easy. And uh, this one's on the first landing pad, which is the back right one. And uh, you're just going to come in here and blow up that uh, silver box thing, and then you can rebuild it. And then after you push it back, you're going to switch to an astromech droid. And then after you activate it, it's going to shoot a mini kit out into space. And uh, I'll go ahead and come back to that later because there's another one that you want to get in this room. Which, uh, after you blow up that ship on the far side, you're going to take down 10 of these ships. And that'll get you 4 out of 10. And then you're going to go back outside and get back into your ship and grab that mini kit that we launched into space earlier. And that will give you 5 out of 10. Uh, this one's on the back left landing pad, which is the second one that you're going to want to land on. And uh, you're just going to run down here to the bottom and uh, activate this thing with a Magna Guard. And that's going to spawn some pressure pads. And then you're going to want to come over here and uh, hit one of these uh, walker things. Not sure what the name of these is, but once you hit it a few times, then the force thing will show up and you can hop into it. And then you're just going to want to walk over these pads one by one. And you're going to have to do it quick. Uh, this was kind of weird for me. I had to walk over each of them like three or four times before it finally spawned. They were turning white and stuff like that. But uh, eventually showed up. And this one's on the top landing pad, which is going to be the, the uh, second to last one you're going to want to land on. And you just pick up that first one, the Jar Jar, and uh, then hop down here. And then uh, switch to a rapid fire character, and then you can blow up this door here. And after that blows up, going to run in there for mini kit 8 out of 10. And then you can just pull this hook down here and then switch out to a uh, force character. Or, uh, sorry, a Dark Force character. And then uh, it's going to build a pressure pad over here, which you can walk onto. And it's going to spawn the mini kit over the control pad there. And then this this is the last one, and it's on the, uh, the last landing pad that you're going to go onto. You switch to any small character, and you can run through there. And then uh, you just run forward a little bit, and uh, there's 10 out of 10. And here is the completed character. Uh, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.